Hey, y'all. <laughs> this is Midnight Cry with Deborah. So, I'm unpacking, and I feel rather discombobulated today. In fact, I've felt that way a lot. <laughs> and I'm just, you know, unpacking my box of books to put on the bookshelf, and I came across this <laughs> and started to cry. This, this precious man right here was my dad. He went to heaven in 2003, and life has never been the same. And I know many of you know what I mean. But you know, in all the sorrow, there's joy. You know, I mean, 20 years ago, come on. And I can still see a picture of him and suddenly, it's as if I lost him yesterday. <sighs> wow. And I thought about all of you. I thought about all of you that love the Lord. My hair's a mess, I'm sorry. I'm a mess. I thought about all of you that love the Lord and love us. And I guess because I'm honest and I'm real and you relate to me. And I have this feeling that if I knew every one of you personally, you would re I would relate to you. So I was reading this word that the Lord gave me. I, I, I'm all the time having pieces of paper with me. I'm off somewhere in a meeting or I'm sitting, you know, in a waiting room for the car to get fixed or I'm, you know, Lord knows where. And I, I, I grab a piece of paper and start scribbling what I hear the Lord happens to me, what he's saying. Here's something he told me one day. I don't even know when it was, sometime this year. He said, it was a revelation and I just wrote it down. It, it actually isn't what he said. It's what I suddenly understood. Does that make sense? God gave man speech to subdue the earth. I'm like, wow, that's a revelation. I mean, all the other animals were not given the task of subduing the earth. We were. And we are sub to, to subdue it in the natural realm and in the spirit realm. In fact, I'm pretty sure that everything in the natural realm comes out of the spiritual realm. God is a spirit. He that, he that worships him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's why there's such a fight against those who walk in the spirit. The religious crowd doesn't like us to walk in the spirit. Because if we walk in the spirit, then we have the power of the Holy Spirit to subdue the earth. If... We also walk in the truth. You have to have both. And so God gave man, us, speech to, sub to subdue the earth. The remnant, that's the believing church, the church that walks with God, the church that believes God still talks. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that? They're actually, the bulk of the church doesn't believe that God is still speaking. He stopped talking when we put the words that we did have in a book. This is my daddy's Bible, which is where the picture was at, which started all of this. And so the remnant must get a hold of this understanding, this revelation, but we must hear what the Spirit is speaking in order to subdue the earth. We need to subdue America. We need to subdue the government over America, the wicked that think they are in charge. But we 
are supposed to be in charge. And I thought about all of you. I thought about how the, just as the, oh, my hair, it's such a mess. It, it, it's cause I got out of the shower and let it dry. <laughs> without doing anything to it. Um, I can see myself when I talk to you, and that's kind of a, a bother. So, um, yeah, where was I? So, we we are supposed to subdue the earth, but we can only do it by the spirit of the wisdom and revelation and understanding and knowledge, the seven spirits of God. We can only do it by God. So, if we don't do it, then the enemy comes in and he does.